Oi, oi, all right, all right, how's it going? I'm Grant, this is Doodle Review, and we've now reached the end of Metal Week. Uh, and we're going out with a look at the latest from a very serious, very intense band, Code Orange. Now, Code Orange have finally returned after what seems like an endless wait. Their last great effort underneath only came out in 2020, but due to arriving right at the start of the pandemic, it feels like yesterday and an eternity ago at the same time. Uh, while metalcore has always been the um, core of this group sound, even as far back as 2014's I Am King, um, they have experimented with both industrial and alternative rock elements. This solidified a little further on 2017's Forever, where we started to get a couple of these more anthemic alt-rock tracks among the brutal beatdowns, and their now trademark glitchy, scratchy guitar fills were honed. That fusion then continued and reached what seems to be an apex on underneath where the industrial production, metalcore intensity and alt-rock appreciation produced, I think, the most thrilling and interesting metal record of that year. Three years later, the above seems to find Code Orange unsure of what sound to pursue with all of the material suffering as a result. Long term, I could really see this band going through a bit of a bring me the horizon transition to become a mainstream metal act. Um, and there seems to be, at least in part, an ambition to do this here, but the accessible arena-ready tracks we get pretty much all feel a bit flat and lifeless, and then conversely, the aggro, riffy tracks also feel kind of tired and played out. It was a real statement of intent to release Take Shape as the first single from this record, a traditionally structured rock song with a chorus that kind of recalls Linkin Park and a feature from Smashing Pumpkins Billy Corgan of all people on the bridge. Going back to my theory about the group setting the stage for a mainstream metamorphosis, this track kind of bears all the hallmarks of that. The only thing is, it's kind of mid. Uh, it's well produced and punchy, uh, but while the lead vocals on the chorus certainly do the business, the chord progression they're riding is just flat and boring. Corgan's feature is just weird, like it works, but also seems like a lot of effort for not very much reward. Um, in a similar vein, Splinter of Soul falls flat with the production giving maximum 90s hacker movie vibes, and Circle Through is just bad late 90s post grunge. On the aggressive side, The Mask of Sanity Slips is super repetitive and boring. It gets somewhat interesting in the final moments, but lyrically, it sounds like a band of 15 year olds that have just read American Psycho for the first time. A drone opting out of the hive goes pretty hard and could be enjoyable, but for me is a track where the whole like string scraping and glitchy techniques just feel a little bit overdone, tired and played out. Speaking of production missteps, I feel like grooming my replacement offers up some cool riffs but the weird like swirling synths they've added at points just do not work and detract from the song as a whole so yeah overall this is a bit of a mess with mostly neither direction the record wants to go in really delivering the goods however you know it's not completely devoid of highlights for me there's a star track from each of the album's two styles the game feels like a flashback to underneath where the riffs go hard and the cut up rhythms and modulations really pack a punch. Snapshot as an alt rock banger also reaches heights the others fail to grasp with high energy, interesting guitars and a catchy but intense chorus. The last call out here actually doesn't sit in either of those camps and I think it's the best song on the record. Mirror is a slow song, maybe even a ballad. But the blend of strings and the sinister crawling guitar riff through the whole thing work perfectly. The vocal cut-ups, while a little bit retro, actually sound great. And there's even a harp at the end. It's just a, like, a well-written, performed and beautifully produced oasis in the middle of this muddle of a record. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10. The above feels like an awkward phase for the band and I'm still interested to see where they go from here but this one ain't it. But tell me what you think. Did I get this right? What was your favourite track? Let me know. Or just hurl some abuse in those comments, you know. Cheers. <laughs>